Could the US really ban TikTok? TikTok's gonna be gone in nine months. This is not an attempt to ban TikTok. It's an attempt to make TikTok better. Tick, tack, toe, a winner. Make no mistake, this is a ban. A ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your voice. Our members of Congress have been very clear. We do not want to see a ban. This is not about a ban. The US government is officially giving TikTok an ultimatum sell the company or face a nationwide, well, I guess you could call it a ban? Uh, this, this, this is not a ban, again, this is about divestment and that's what we want to see. Okay, it's not a ban yet. After originally stalling in the US Senate, the TikTok bill was bundled in with a foreign aid package to help fast track it through Congress and it worked. President Biden's now signed it into law, giving TikTok 270 days with a potential 90-day extension to make the sale, or the app will be removed from stores in the US. So why TikTok? It's because the app's parent company, ByteDance, is based in China. And for a few years now, there have been worries about who can access its data. TikTok is a threat to our national security because it is owned by ByteDance, which does the bidding of the Chinese Communist Party. That's something China has denied. But under its laws, government authorities could force ByteDance to hand over the personal info of its 170 million US users. Like all that stuff you agree to share when you sign up to most social media apps, like your age, name and location. The argument is that China's government could then influence Americans by using TikTok's algorithms to suppress or promote certain content on the app or to target certain demographics to spread misinformation. No, no, and that could be a huge problem, especially with the US presidential election coming up. Although some argue that sort of thing is a problem on other social media apps too, not just TikTok. And by the way, this is all something TikTok CEO denies. ByteDance is not owned or controlled by the Chinese government. It's a private company. So why is the US so worried about China? Well, China-US relations haven't been going so well over the past few years. It comes down to old disputes, like the competition to control the future of technology, rising tensions in the South China Sea, and the US involvement in Taiwan. For example, that foreign aid package I mentioned earlier included funding for the contested Chinese territory. And then there are newer disputes, like how the COVID-19 pandemic started, and opposing takes on the Russia-Ukraine war. Well, what the heck is that? And remember that whole thing about a Chinese spy balloon being shot down over the US in 2023? But back to TikTok. What would a ban look like? Well, for most of us outside the US, it would mean a big change to what we see on here. Six of the top 10 most followed accounts in the world are American. But the US isn't the first country to consider banning the app. India banned it in 2020, and the content mostly just shifted to other platforms. Of course, a TikTok ban in the US is something a lot of users really don't want to see happen. And TikTok gets like taken away, I have no idea what I'm going to do with my day. Some say banning TikTok would be silencing the power of young voices. And TikTok's been campaigning against a ban on its app, encouraging users to speak up and even call Congress. Hi, I'm calling to um, ask about the TikTok ban. I'm here because I talk about books on TikTok and I encourage people to read and I want to keep up doing that. If I had any concerns about China, I would have the same concerns about right here in America sharing and selling our data too. Is there any possible way to go inside your apartment? It's kind of changed my life and my family's life. Maybe one third of my income is from TikTok, I would say, um, just through like the platform and brand sponsorships. So I would take definitely a hit. So will TikTok choose to sell? There have been plenty of interested buyers in the past, including Microsoft and Walmart. But China's government has said that it strongly opposes the forced sale of TikTok and that the law is an act of bullying. So experts reckon it'll make moves to stop the sale or make it way less appealing. China actually has laws that control the export of algorithms. So it could take the part of TikTok that's made it so successful and popular right out of the deal. OK, but is there another option? Well, yeah, it'll likely end up in court. 
It's something that happened back in 2020, when President Donald Trump also said TikTok was a threat to national security and issued an executive order to try to get ByteDance to sell the app. We're looking at TikTok. We may be banning TikTok. That move was blocked in court because it failed to consider a reasonable alternative for TikTok. Now, TikTok says a ban could violate America's First Amendment rights to freedom of speech. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. We are confident that we will keep fighting for your rights in the courts. The facts and the Constitution are on our side, and we expect to prevail again. Now, you might be wondering if the US did ban TikTok, could Australia do the same? Australia's already banned the app on government-issued devices over worries about security. And some politicians have said they want Australia to also follow America's lead. If all of that yeah. data is being extracted uh, against your knowledge or consent, then I think the Prime Minister does need to step up. But so far, the government says while we'll be watching the situation unfold, TikTok isn't going anywhere.